All right, guys, today let's talk about Windows updates. I run all my rigs on Windows 10, Windows 10 Home, and uh, I self manage them. I don't use Hive OS or um, Awesome Miner or NiceHash. But the problem with that is Windows likes to do automatic updates and restart your computer automatically. And then you're like, what happened? Why is this doing this? Stop it. Stop it now. It's <laughs> just very frustrating. So this happened to me uh, two days ago. I have Raptorium CPU miners. I freshly built those within the past couple weeks. And I do update when I install Windows. First time I hit update, update, I get as much updates as I can before I'm happy and I kick off the miner, right? So I come in and go, why have I lost three miners on Raptorium? I look at my... Uh, 011 data mining pool and I saw four I go what 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 happened so I go and I have a nice clean login screen I do have auto logins on my CPU on most of my rigs because I don't I don't want to have to log in 50 times with my it just gets old so I have auto login enabled through the reg registry editor and there's ways to do that I can show you that if you're interested post in the comments below if you want to know how to do that if you can't find it online I'll show you it's uh, three steps four steps it's not that bad but auto update is annoying because it took my rigs down it took my um, crypto mining down my raptorium mining and you don't know it's like unless you look at the pool and say hey I'm missing three miners what the heck and same with ether mine it'll tell you you lost this many workers so I'm so sick of this they make it so difficult sometimes just to say no you know disable auto updates on the uh, system settings panel it's not that intuitive. You can delay updates for a week, pause them, but that sucks. I want, to, I want these things off because I know what works. The system's working now. I want to control when I get the updates, if I want to get the updates. Because nine times out of ten with Microsoft, oh, my God, you update, you're going to break everything. It's like I don't know what kind of chicken crap outfit they run over there. It's just most of the updates are crap. And they break stuff, and you're like, well, oh, my God, you made all these custom settings. And then you update, and it just screws up your drivers. And you're like, oh, and then you have a whole weekend of how do I get back to where I was before. And so I hate updates unless I manually go through, say, update, look at what's coming down, say, oh, security update. Okay, I'll do that. If I see drivers and I'm changing this stuff, updates, no, I don't want to mess with that crap. That's why I like Linux. I should switch to Linux and HiveOS is appealing, but I don't want to pay fees. So I'm not quite there yet. Uh, I am stuck with Windows. It works for what it is. I just want to stop these annoying features where they feel they have to basically nanny you and say, here's your updates. No, I'll tell you when I want my updates. Yeah, don't update if you never have to. If things are working on any system or any piece of software and you get the little pop-up that says update, no. Unless you really need it, unless you really, really need that update, do not do it because everything's working fine. If it ain't broke, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, that's from my experience. Otherwise, you're going to spend hours going, oh, God, what did I break or what broke? And it's, it's, just, uh, it's just not worth the, uh, what, the juice isn't worth the squeeze. So let's get rid of this banner here, guys, and we'll work our way into some fun time. So here I'm running two things. I'm running a CPU miner, GPU miner. Uh, mining 6600 XT, the Red Devil, the Red Devil, and I'm doing Raptorium. So let's go in, and this is Windows 10 Home. What I do is you can type, this should work, and it probably won't if I could type services.msc. See that? I just type services.msc in the find. Go up. Right click, run as admin. I think everything should run as admin. I don't understand Windows. Just run as admin because I'm going to do some system crap. So let's just run this thing as admin and get her done. All right, this comes up, the services window. It's kind of annoying. There's no find. And let's double check where I speak out of turn. Nope. So what we're going to do... Well, you know what? Let's do control F. Negative. Negative. All right, come over here, scroll down. I just go right to the bottom. 
and you see Windows Update. All right, you see Windows Update. I'm getting my screens organized here. Uh, what you want to do is you see, oh my God, it's running. Windows Update is running. No, no, please, no, stop, stop. Mr. Bill Gates, please, I don't want it. Oh, Billy, 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 Billy. Uh, so what you do, you go in here and um, you see this little pop-up. I double-clicked on Windows Update. And you come in, you see, oh my God, it's running. Startup type is automatic. So every time you boot up, this thing's just going to kick off. I just go right to disabled. Kablamo. And you can stop it manually too. Let's do that. And it's going to do some scary stuff. You never know what it does. Uh, let's see. We've disabled. I hit apply. Hit OK. You should come back and see right here, disabled. All right, there's a way, let's confirm. And we're gonna go down, oh, where'd it go? All right. Now, if you wanna check whether you have disabled the service, let's do this again. And we can just, let's close this, exit out. Cause sometimes you do these settings and they don't stick because you forget, you know, there's some buried apply button you didn't do. So we'll do services again. We'll do um, run as admin again. Bum, bum, bum. And we're going to, come on, come on, buddy. I'm remoted in, that's why this is a little clunky. I'm using Chrome Remote Desktop. All right, there's Windows Update. Kablamo, look at that. Disabled. And we can do right click properties instead of double click. Same difference. I think it just, yeah, it just pops up the same thing. So now you'll see your settings have stuck. You got startup type disabled. You have services stopped. And you should be good to go. Yep. So there you go. That's how you disable it in the services way. There is also a registry edit way. So if you find this does not work, and knowing Windows, you may find this does not work. Uh, you probably have to reboot. Yeah, you're going to have to restart to kick this in. I would just, even though you stop this, you should be good. But uh, sometimes if you want to be super safe, reboot and come back in here and double check this is off. I'm pretty sure it does. You should be good to go. Uh, what else can we check here? You can go into this. I just type update in the find window. You see check for updates. I'll do it manually. That's my choice of things. Uh, let's see. So you can see, you can keep checking this too. It was last checked yesterday at 2.11. This pausing is crap. Don't mess with that. And this stuff, this is just, I don't know. This stuff I never could get to work. You know, make sure it's off. I mean, you can do the pause. I don't mess with that. I think the service thing I just showed you would be one of your best bets. But if you're still finding it's downloading and updating stuff, you know, we'll show you the regis registry edit thing next uh, in the next another video. But this is all I want to do for now is just show you because it's so convoluted and buried. And the key thing here is come in, go to the services, make sure it's disabled. Uh, come in here to Windows Update now and then and just say, hey, it was last checked yesterday to 11. You should see this as a week goes on. It was last checked. A week ago you know just it should be disabled so there you go that's all I got right now I just so sick of this Windows update stuff and again like I said quick and dirty you can do this right now go to your find search window type services I'll repeat myself and um, you know you should have to do admin let's do this admin I mean services comes up go to the very bottom and of course if you don't know how to scroll that's a problem there we go, Windows Update, disabled, double click, disabled, stopped, and that should be good. That's just confirmation, because again, I've done stuff and I probably hasn't, I haven't hit the magical Bill Gates apply button, so it doesn't stick, and I have to double check. And uh, this is just from me, I coming back and I just see my, you know, I come back, oh, why are my miners running? And, you know, all I see 
when I remote in is that, oh no, nothing's running. You know, it's just annoying. And I just don't want to deal with that again. So I, that's how I disable. All right, little long-winded, basically use your, use your services thing and um, disable your Windows update. If that does not work for you, let me know. There is a registry edit way to do it. Uh, you're kind of getting into the bowels of things with the registry edit, but uh, it, it does work. But this is the Windows way to do it, the interface way. And I hope you find success. And we will stomp out. We will stomp out Bill Gates and his Windows updates. Because I don't want to go to Windows 11, my God. <laughs> I'm happy where things are on my system. I do not want any of that new stuff. And I went to, oh, I, I'm actually on a VM, on a, on a server suite, remoted in. And they have Windows 11. Holy crap. They changed little stuff that you're so used to that it's just muscle memory and they change and it's like it drives you nuts it's like why did you make it more complicated and i think it's almost like the government we're here to save you and make, and we're here to make everyone safe no i don't you're, that's not your job stop it you don't need to make me safe i'll figure it out you know it's like the same thing with windows stop doing this to me keep it simple keep it the way it was people are used to things and that's my rant i mean ah all right Hope this helps. I hope you uh, have not been as frustrated as me with these automatic Windows updates. If this does not work for you, let me know because we'll, we'll get to the bottom of it. We'll go into the reg edit, man. We will go into the reg edit and we will tell this thing what we want it to do. All right? That's right. Who, who does number two work for, Bill Gates? <laughs> all right, that's all I got. Uh, if you're finding your miners are rebooting, this is what I found works. So go forth, do great things. I'm up to 10 rigs, baby. 10 rigs and one giga hash. Some are CPU rigs, as you can see. Some have one or two cards on them. Some have six cards on them. And uh, that's where I'm at. It's fun, fun hobby, expensive hobby. But there's some money coming in. The crypto world, what are we doing right now as we head on out? Oh, my God, we're red again. Wow, this thing is going up and down. It, does not want, know what, it doesn't know what it wants to do. And we are sitting on December 17th, 2021. Man, oh, man. And please do not go below 45. I think... Once we drop it to 45, it's going to go down. I think what's happening, the way this game works, I, I know it's, we're off topic. We're on a new subject. So Windows Update, you know how to do it. Go forward through great things. The crypto thing, the way I see it, a lot of the big boys feel they missed the boat, right? So they probably have connections. They probably know who's who, who the big whales are. And they're asking them maybe to sell or just kind of manipulate the market to lower it so they can get into it at a lower level. I think that's what happens, because again, George Carlin said it best, it's a big club, and you ain't in it. You know what I mean? Uh, it's almost like Pelosi and her, she had, there was a Twitter account that followed her public stock picks, but Twitter got so butt hurt. Oh, they deleted that account. It was awesome, because it showed you public information, the inside trading stuff that the government officials would do, and instead of complaining about them, you would basically just follow what they do. And you may go from, what is their, what is their salaries? 150000 a year as a government servant in the government, like a congressperson? And they're multimillionaires? Uh, let's see. I ain't an idiot, but I understand what's going on. So instead of complaining, follow what they do. And uh, Pelosi had Tesla picks back in June. Uh, she had options on that. She has options on NVIDIA to 400 so NVIDIA is down a little bit, but I went and bought an NVIDIA and I bought Tesla. Uh, I'm following these people, man. You know, they believe in insider trading. And she even made a comment yesterday. It's a free market, which it really isn't a free market because the government has their hands in the market too much. Regulation, bailing people out, the quantity of easing crap with GM and all these stuff. And I think the only car company they didn't bail out was Ford. You know, good on Ford, but it's still a Ford. Yeah. I don't know. That's just my beef. So follow these guys. Make the trades they make, and you'll be a multimillionaire too based on a basic salary. Go figure. So I think there's some manip man ah, manipulation going on there. So these politicians, these institutions can buy in. Look at Jamie Dimon. Is he J.P. Morgan or something? There he, oh, yeah, he was so negative on this crypto crap. And now all of a sudden he, he's changing his tune. And I think all his, uh, his clients are like, what are you doing, dude? We're missing the boat. And so maybe there's some manipulation going on there to lower the prices so these people can buy in. 
and then let it shoot up to 100k. That's that's my hunch, but we'll see how it plays out. Because you know, 2017 it, it tanked hard, and everybody's left holding the bag. They bought at all time highs, which is what 16,000 back then, 20,000. Uh, you just don't know. You don't know. You either believe in it or not. One guy I uh, listened to on an entrepreneur show. He's a younger guy. Worked at Google. Saw the potential of Tesla at the time. He went all in on his. He probably let's say te, uh, Google. He's not making that much for where he lives in the, uh, Silicon Valley. I lived out there. It's overpriced, way overpriced. I don't know how people live. Even two engineer salary, you're barely able to buy an apartment or rent an apartment. But he went all in with his say. Let's say he made one. I'm going to be conservative. Probably 140 in that area because Google's cheap. They don't really pay that well. And uh, he probably dumped whatever he had left over after paying the huge rent. And he kept buying Tesla, Tesla. He cashed out. He's retired. I mean, he's financially independent. Retired is the wrong term. Retired is you don't have to work for someone else. J-O-B, chest over broke. But, um, yeah, he's uh, financially independent and does what he wants. But, uh, yeah, either you believe in it or not, you go all in. And you put, you know, or you just, you know, dollar cost average in. Uh you could lose it all, right? I could lose it all. What do you know? You never know. We could get hit with an EMP pulse and everything's wiped. <laughs> so you just don't know. All right, that's all I got. Long video about nothing. Windows update. Yeah, that was the video. We're 16 minutes in. YouTube says to make 15-minute videos for some reason, so I did it. Yay, YouTube. Yay. All right. I want to get enough subscribers, hopefully. I hope there's a lot of people that think this stuff is kind of entertaining. That if I get enough subscribers and enough watch time, I can then start migrating over to Odyssey and Rumble and uh, Minds. All these alternative platforms because they're not as, um, what do you call it, authoritarian or, uh, what do you call it, uh, not tyrannical, but censoring as YouTube is. Uh, yeah, so I want to get off YouTube eventually and get over to the other ones. And then you get paid in. You can, you can actually make revenue in crypto on um, Odyssey, which is kind of cool, which is a library coin, I think. All right, that's where I'm at. I just blasted out the speaker. Sorry. That's where I'm at. I hope you, hope you have a good day. Go invest or watch the market. Do whatever you want to do. But do your own research. Uh, do not listen to people on the Internet, no matter how much they seem normal. Do not. Please do not. Do not. Do your own research. If it doesn't feel right, go with your gut and uh, follow your gut. Do not listen to some guy or some some person in front of a green screen yelling, Cryptos, my trend line analysis on crypto. And there's a couple shows like that where they get these young guys who are crypto so-co savvy with their graphs. I'm like, dude, you don't have no idea what's going to happen. This is all snake oil. Just watch it for entertainment value because they kept saying 100K, 100K by end of December. And I'm just going, dude, it's going the other way, man. Dude, you got to quit looking at your stupid charts. But it fills an hour of entertainment and content on YouTube. I get it. All these uh, you know, trading view charts of where it's been and patterns. It's like, all right, entertainment, like this crap I'm putting out. The only value in this video is Windows Update, right? How to turn the Windows Update off and stop Bill Gates from destroying your lives with uh, his crappy Windows Updates as you're trying to crypto them on. <laughs> All right, go forward. Two great things. I'm out. Stop recording. Stop, 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 stop. Where's the button? <laughs>